Yeah. Sararo, you know did it, right? What's up, gamers? Welcome back to some more Madden 18 tips. Today, I'm going to show you a key tip to be able to lock the OP run down and keep good coverage on the field. You know, a lot of people know that Madden 18 does not take any skill. So as soon as you get into the game, there's two things that you need to think about. Stopping the run, stopping the out routes. That is where all bums go to and that's where everybody leans on this year because the game does not have a skill gap. So today, I'm going to show you how to have a coverage to be able to shut both of them down. Now, the one play touchdowns, there's nothing that you're gonna have to worry about because they won't have too much time to be able to get the play up and going before they can get 15 to 25 yards down the field. Now, I'm in the 3-4 I. You can use any type of defense that you feel comfortable in. As you can see, we come down with a user. Uh, yank them one time for the one time because I know where the opening on the play is and later on in the video you're gonna see how important it is to have either a double cloud or a double purple because one would play the running back one would play the C route because that's what a lot of people like to run C routes on third downs and fourth downs so if you're a Patreon, I'm gonna drop the setup for this 3-4-I blitz because for the past two or three weeks, one of the Patreons has been asking me over and over, so I got you, man. I, I've been watching and reading what you've been saying, so I'm gonna make sure that I get that to you. But you can see on the screen, froze right now, how I have my defense set up. I like to have the blitz coming in, and it's so important not to have clouds on the field, but have purples on the field. It took me a while to realize that because it's a lot of different routes that can glitch, cloud, flat, and that's what a lot of people are using, man. Right there, we had the double purples on the field, and that is essential. Go into your base defense. Make sure that you got a defense that you're comfortable with that can shut down the run. Now, you also got to find a defense that you're comfortable with that has good pass coverage, but then... If you can get that established, if you know how to use your quick adjustments, you got a better chance of winning. If you want more help on setups, let me know and I'll bring it to y'all. Patreons in the next two hours, I got the setup for y'all. Let's go.